Hi everyone, welcome to my Draw My Life video. I'm Donovan, and that's me. I'm a diatom, and today you guys can see what it's like to be me. My name's Pinularia Borealis, but you could just call me Donnie. Like I said before, I'm a diatom, a kind of microscopic protist, kind of like an amoeba. To protect ourselves, us diatoms have a hard cell wall made out of silica, which can come in many different shapes and sizes. There are thousands of species of diatoms, and we all look different. Some of my friends look like this, and others like that. You can tell which species of diatom is which by looking at its shape and its symmetry. Some of us are marine diatoms and live in salt water, but I live in fresh water. I was born about 14.07 million years ago, here in the McMurdo Dry Valleys of Antarctica, which weren't so dry when I was born. MTV, welcome to my crib! As you can see, it's pretty rocky around here. Not gonna lie, it's a little funky. Scientists say it's the closest terrestrial environment to Mars. Over millions of years, all the water dried up, and it got super cold here. A few of my friends and I were hanging out in some moss when we were freeze dried, and were stuck there for 14 million years. Kind of like Captain America. But just when I thought I'd stay there forever, some scientists picked me up and put me in a sample jar. They took me all the way from Antarctica up to this cool place called Boston. At Boston University, I became a part of scientific research. I helped them learn more about my home and its climate. When it was my turn to help, the scientists took me out of the jar, scraped me off of the moss I'd been chilling on, and then into a little tube. Then, after about 14.07 million years, I was rehydrated. They added water and spun me around in this thing called a centrifuge. This process is called distillation, and it involves separating me from all the dirt I had collected. But basically, I was just excited to see water again. After the centrifuge process, I was hanging out right above all the sediment, floating in the water when the scientists took me out of the tube. Next, they dropped me on a little pin. As if I hadn't been dry long enough, they placed me in a hot oven and all the water evaporated away, leaving just me. At least I didn't freeze this time. Then, it got really fun. They placed me in this big fancy machine called the Scanning Electron Microscope, which took some really high-tech pictures. Look, here I am. I'm what's called a proxy, which means that I'm used to estimate previous climate records. A few of my other proxy friends include tree rings, ice cores, ocean sediments, and fossilized pollen. With our help, scientists are able to make educated guesses as to the conditions of future climates. Scientists can use the molecules in my silica shells to determine information about the time that I lived. By analyzing oxygen isotopes in my shell, they can calculate the approximate temperature of my environment when I was alive. By looking at me and my other proxy friends, scientists can reconstruct the climate of the past so that they can learn more about the climate of the future. Basically, I'm a climate change superhero. The terrifying thing is that the Earth has been getting hotter, just about as hot as it was when I was alive and it was warm in Antarctica. This is mostly because of the rise of carbon dioxide levels. This means that a lot of ice is going to melt at the poles, global sea levels are going to rise, and the Earth as humans know it is going to change. But the good news is that by studying me and my other proxy friends, we can learn from the past about what the future will be like and do our best to prepare and minimize the human impact on the Earth. 